Hello children, how are you? I was so excited to see you. Really, are you ready to listen to the story? You've done your chores, you've done your good deed of the day. I'm sure you have. I hope you're done with your homework. Well, today I'm going to tell a story about fairness, justice and sense of responsibility. Do you understand that? Can you remember? Who can tell me what was the story about the last time? It was about sharing. Whoa! So I'm sure you did your bit of sharing. Did you? Okay. So now let's begin. And this, since I told you I love animals, so this story also has a horse in the middle of it. All right, so should we get started? Mm, I can't wait. Long ago in a town called a tree, smack dab in the center of town, there hung a bronze bell. The townspeople called it the bell of justice. It was no ordinary bell. It wasn't rung on holidays or the mayor's birthday. Not for these kind of celebrations, no. This bell was to be rung only when someone who had been treated unfairly needed help to right the wrong, to get justice. Okay, do you get it? All right. The people of Atri were proud of their bell. They kept it polished so bright that it looked like gold in the shining sun. Anyone, rich or poor, young or old, tall or short, could pull on the long rope and ring the bell to have their story heard. So isn't that what a lovely place to be? When the mayor heard the bell ring, he would put on his special robe and call for his assistant. All the people would gather in the town square to see how the mayor set things right again. So this is the bell. Can you see the bell? Yes. All right. See, did you see the gold color? Have you heard the story, the Midas touch? That's a story about a king and he was in love with gold. Well, maybe one day I'll tell you that story. Okay. Most of the time, the people of our tree treated each other fairly and honorably. So the bell was hardly ever rung. After many years, however, time took its toll on the bell's rope and it, it, it became worn and battered so much that the only, the, only the tallest person could ring it, certainly not a child. Here you look, you'll get an idea. You take a look. See, the bell and the, see the rope has become smaller. Now only tall people can reach it. Okay. One day, the mayor was on his tour of the town. He liked to walk around and greet all the town's people. On this day, the mayor saw the sorry state of the bell's rope. This will never do, exclaimed the mayor. We need a new rope immediately. Everyone searched high and low, but they could not find a rope that was long enough. The mayor had to send for a new long rope from the town on the other side of the mountain. Okay. Meanwhile, the mayor's assistant brought a long, tough, Grapevine. Do you know what a grapevine is? It's a long, long stem of grapes. Have you ever seen grapes growing anywhere? Well, you can ask your parents and maybe they can take you to a farm and show. And they are pretty, pretty twigs and branches and stems like this. See, the assistant is carrying the wine. Grape wine, okay? It looks like a rope. All right. It would have to serve as a bell pull until the new rope arrived. Okay. On a farm just outside the city limits lived an old knight. His glory days on the field of battle were long since over. 
you know what a knight is knights wear these kind of armors and they serve their kings and their country and the people they save they fight in the battles they are very brave and valiant and they're very intelligent they're full of knowledge as well and they are very helpful all right his glory days on the field of battle were long since over now he had gone old so he spent his time out on the farm the knight had once owned beautiful horses i love horses do you and hunting dogs for he had taken great delight in hunting foxes and deer now the old knight hardly ever hunted because he's gone old he had sold his dogs and all his horses but one that one horse served the knight faithfully in many battles and when he was young so the knight kept the horse for when he had to make a fine appearance at a festival or in a holiday parade although the old knight had plenty of money he no longer was willing to spend it to take proper care of his farm or his one old horse now that's kind of unfair when the dog when the horse has served him for so long and been taking his bidding he preferred to spend his time sitting at his table and counting his money instead just like the queen who was busy counting her money there you see the horse and the old man who was a knight and now he's counting his money hmm let's see what happened next okay the knight didn't care that the stable was falling down and the poor horse didn't get any attention the day finally came when the old knight wouldn't even buy his horse enough food the horse tried not to make too much of a fuss but his tummy was empty he was such a decent fellow wasn't he it reminds me of the story black beauty have you heard it the knight decided not to keep the horse any longer he opened the pasture gate and sent the house horse out to wander the countryside it was a hot summer and the sun had dried up the grass the horse did not understand what was happening he only knew he was hungry when he couldn't find enough to eat at the side of the road he didn't know what to do oopsie daisy hmm